What's going on coders and welcome to episode 3 of our document service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about how to find and replace text on a document. So I decided to put this video closer in the beginning of the playlist because I actually use these methods quite frequently in my work. They are probably some of the most uh, popular methods that I use and those are find text, get element, and replace text. So let's jump in the code and have a look. Let's first look how to find text within a document. So let's say that you had an extremely long document and you need to search for some text. Say that a user would input a string or some text or even a regular expression and they need to know where on that document was that text located. So you would just use the the method of find text. And again, you need to first specify uh, which section of the document you are going to be searching in. So again, the four sections are the header, the body, some footnotes, and the footer. So let's go back into the code. And uh, most of the time, you're going to be searching within the body because that's where most of the content lives. So I have right here a constant called body, which is getting the document and then getting the body from that document. So let's first type a body and then we'll say find text. So here we go, here we go, we have two options. We have one with, uh, or actually both of them have a required parameter, which is called search pattern and it takes in a string. But then this one, this option down here has a optional parameter called from. And what this is, is a range element. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't really use this too much, but basically what this means is that if you had a specific section of that body say you knew that your text had to be somewhere within this range right here you could specify this as your range element usually this comes in handy when say you have a bounded script and a user um, selects a certain passage of the document and then you can run the script saying search within this section but for standalone scripts especially i usually just use uh, this option right here without the optional parameter and then this is going to re uh, search the entire Google document for the first instance of wherever whatever your search pattern is so let's say find text and let's say we're going to be looking for the term West all right so we'll log or log that so what this is going to do actually is it's going to return for us if you can if you remember this is going to return for us a range element so that is not as helpful as say getting a element so this is now is going to return for us a generic element there are a lot of elements within a Google document if you remember from our slides playlist there were a lot of page elements on a slide say you had a shape or you had an image. It's kind of the same way with Google Docs. You can have paragraphs or you can have tables, say. But this right here is just going to return a generic page element. And that is what this method does. So let's quickly just write some more things just so that we can get the text actually. So I'm just going to type convert that into a text uh, instance or an object. And then I'm going to get the text, which is going to return us a string. So if we hit save, and we hit run and we hit view logs, we should get this right here. So it's not going to return us just west right here. It's going to return us the entire object right here. So this is going to be our first instance of west because it's within, sure it's within the word western, but Google Docs and App Script can see that there is a capital W, E, S, T, and then it knows that this is west. So it's going to return now this entire uh, element right here and there you go so it's Western literature that is what it has returned but let's say that you were just looking for the word West you didn't really want uh, just any old West whether it had letters before or letters after it you can specify that in your code and you can write somewhat of a regular expression so I'm gonna be honest again I don't know regular expressions too well but there are plenty sites uh, that uh, convert what you want into the regular expression that you can type in code. So basically what this is going to do, uh, what I'm writing here is I'm going, I'm saying, all right, I want the term West, but I don't want any characters, whether it's lowercase a through Z 
or uppercase A through Z to follow that. So basically, if if a um, if a space follows that or if a dollar sign follows that, that's totally cool. But it can't be followed by any other letter. So that is what this regular expression is doing. So now if we hit save and we hit run, it should ignore this completely because it sees that there is an E right here and it should keep going. And then now it will look here and say, all right, here is West, but it is not followed by a uh, alphabet letter. So it should return for us now this entire section, this entire element. All right, so if we hit view and logs, and here we go. So we have now our element as text and we're getting that text which is returned as a string. And again, this is what it is found. It is found west, but there are no letters after that. So that is exactly what we specified in our regular expression. All right, so let's move on. Now, let's see how to replace text. So in my, in my um, observation, my experience, replacing text is best when you have a template document. So let's say that you used a document as a template that, you, that you'd have different users access it and then they would fill in their own, uh, say, name or professor or date. They would just fill in their own unique data. So how, how you could do this is you could say uh, replace text and say you could search for the term uh, name which is surrounded by two uh, brackets, curly brackets, and this would be something unique. And then it would replace every single instance where they found this uh, curly bracket name, curly bracket, with whatever data you want to put in its place. So now if we say body dot replace text, you can see it takes two uh, parameters. One is a search pattern, which is what it's going to search. This time it's going to search for all occurrences of this search pattern. And then, it, and then it also takes in the replacement text that you want to fill in its place. All right, and that's going to return just, again, a generic element. All right, so if we use this and we say, all right, search for me wherever this is found. So wherever we have a curly brace it, I mean, I'm sorry, a curly parenthesis or a curly bracket. And then it's followed by name and then a closing curly bracket. All right, so then let's just say we want to replace that with the name David Weiss. So if we hit save and we hit run, we should check out our document. And then there we go. Now the placeholder name has been replaced by David Weiss. All right, so this is extremely powerful. And again, I probably use replace more often than any other method in the document app uh, list of methods and in this entire service in general. So this is extremely powerful and important to know. And I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in the next one.